I bet you did not know this LEGO Marvel Super Heroes and LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Easter egg. So I'm sure as you guys all know, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes the video game is a fantastic game. Many people argue that it is in fact the single best LEGO Marvel video game made. And I think that that's a pretty fair argument. But LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, which was of course the game that was actually the third one in the series because between one and two, we did get Lego Marvel's Avengers, but that's a story for a whole nother time because that focuses on the MCU. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, on the other hand, was supposed to go on ahead and really take things back to the story that we saw in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And my goodness, was that not really the case? I mean, it really felt like such a weird departure. And that's why I think a lot of people don't particularly care for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is because it seems to have taken some of the worst parts of Lego Marvel 1 and Lego Marvel Avengers and then combined them into this new game where people are like, well, this is really kind of the parts that we didn't like about the previous games. And you kind of ignored the parts that we really like. And that included things like characters of course the fact that lego marvel super heroes 1 included many different characters from the marvel universe like the fantastic four and the x-men and the list goes on and on and on that made it genuinely an amazing experience whereas in the second game that was all omitted but there is one goofy detail that was brought over from the very first game to this second entry and that would be this Now, I know you're probably looking at that and going like, wait, what, 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 what just happened? Well, yes, you saw the blinking Statue of Liberty. It is so bizarre to me that they went ahead and brought over this specific Easter egg from the first game all the way up to Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, because if you fly up to Kang or Kang's version, I guess, of the Statue of Liberty in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, check out what he does. Ooh. Yes, he also does have the same Easter egg, implying that, of course, at some point in time, the Statue of Liberty of Kang, I guess, does come to life, just like the Statue of Liberty in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 did as well, at the hands of Magneto. 